Hi, Elsie. Hi, Denise. I've got two old jury boxes full here to look kind of look through for the first time tonight with you. I, I picked it all out, but I hadn't had got a chance to enjoy it. That's why I said it, my jewelry. But I have my sterling I showed tonight is, uh, of course, some been tested and I've got it prepared up here. And I'll just give it a minute and see who's like the cow, and then we'll uh, look at a couple of little random items. Have y'all had a good day? Thank you for that jack o' lantern. That's cute. And I've worked on shipping the majority of the day. organizing and this room is getting more bare and bare so that's great put some extra pins over here oh for myself and I'll be looking at chat from here Hi, Bonnie. Let me turn the lighting up. I hope y'all are well tonight. Do I miss anybody coming in? Can I read it from back here? This is a good place. Yeah, I've got a little few random items here um, for us to look at if y'all like. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. I'm going to put this in a good spot. That's not a good spot because I'm going to be moving that. I've got two plushies for tonight. And I have shown this before, but this one thing here, but I'm going to show it again in case anybody would like it. Oh, well, I did. How kind am I not? This is super nice. Hopefully I've got room. Let's point that down a little bit. Hi, Anna. Is that Amy? Hi, Amy. Oh, hey, Amy. I haven't seen you in a little bit. I hope you're well. I hope you all are well. I've got these two jewelry boxes to go through. And it's just according to who all comes. I can stay up late tonight. And I'm going to start off with a few random things. So let me just set this over. And this is a beautiful old vintage jewelry box. I think it's beautiful. I love the old jewelry boxes, y'all. I never want to turn loose of them. <laughs> a couple of things 
I'm going to show you in the random items you might have seen before because the invoice didn't get paid. I hate to have to say that, but didn't. And that's why they're available again. This is a teapot candle. This will make a great gift for someone who loves teapots. And in case you didn't hear me say last night, everyone who purchased last week, I'll put a little extra special something in your box. Yes, I have seen you lately, Amy, haven't I? I've done lost my mind, Amy. <laughs> this starts at $10, if anybody likes it. And it's fairly large, you can see in my hand. And you know that rose right there looks like Beauty of the Beast rose that is in that encased with the glass on it. And there's some type of cursive writing there. And did you know cursive writing is going to be a lost art, y'all? Because I don't teach it in school anymore. Did y'all know that? I found that out when my daughter was maybe third, fourth grade, and she wanted to learn it. So I taught it to her. So at least we'll still have it. Right? I, I don't know. I like cursive writing. I grew up doing cursive writing. Um... But I do have some beautiful pieces we've never seen. Well, lots we've never seen. So whether you uh, want to or can purchase or not, feel free to hang out and relax. Um, that's what I always hope for everyone to leave a little better off than when they first came. I will try to pay attention to that chat. Did you miss? Yes, I always miss you if you're not there, Denise. You didn't say good night, sweetheart. It's time to go. Did you go back and see? I sat and ate a whole pint of ice cream. <laughs> Me and Elsie chatted with everybody while I ate the ice cream. All right. So the little candle. All right. Starts at 10 if any interest there. This little bag, $2, if anybody likes it. I love the rainbow sequins. Let's say it can be completely silver. It's just like a little coin purse. Just me. Piece of lint. And that starts at two, if anybody likes it. I love rubbing these things, y'all. My daughter is at the school. Took herself. She, she's she been gone most of the day. Took herself, and they're doing trunk or treat, the volleyball team. Do anybody like this? Silver on one side, and all different colors of the rainbow on the other. My nails might look a little rough, y'all. My press-ons, I'm letting my nails breathe, and they had gotten quite thin and rough looking from the press on. So, all natural tonight. <laughs> um, let's see. This is a little. Trinket. That's pretty. That's what it says. And it's just a gold tone metal. I already have dinner. I guess so. It's almost well, according to where you're at. This starts at ten dollars if you might like it. I love it. Hi, Miss Lizzie. Sold. Let's say, did you have a good day? You want the brass? Brass, yes. Thank you, Denise. That's what it is. All righty, darling. I'll get that for you. And let me get my geisha. Would y'all like the little geisha or regular geisha? Or does it matter? Anybody? 
If I run across anything in the old jury boxes that looks stolen, I'll test it. Thank you, Denise, and I'll give it a little polish. That's beautiful. I love that. Thank you for liking my little geisha girl up. <laughs> oh, Amy. Okay, let me look at the comments. Are you well, Misty? Yes, I'm well. I took my nausea pill. It's starting to kick in to help my nausea tonight. And um, shipping most of the day. I've uh, been a pretty peaceful state of mind. We had to have the plumber come. Our upstairs toilet, for some reason, stopped up. All right, I got you, Denise. Let me put a little heart. Let's see, Amy. See, I wanted things to be a surprise, especially when I do a little surprise thing in y'all's packages. But I'm not good at keeping surprises. And Amy, I sent yours out today. And in there, it, it's to be for me. But I added a couple of little older pieces, I thought that you could gift to your mother for um, her birthday. So I hope you'll like them. I hope she'll like them. But they're to be for me. I sent them for that reason. That's special to be turning 80 years old, isn't it? Did I remember that correctly? Oh, Zoe's going to come sit with me, y'all. Hey, Miss Gail, how are you? Zoe had a little bath. Uh, a while ago and she's still cold so I'm going to let her sit on my lap on this little satin pillow get her warmed up so if you hear grunting you're going to know what it is y'all homemade stir fry Carrie made oh yummy hope Carrie comes like chicken stir fry or I'm trying to get this to work and say it y'all maybe just lay it right here you can see her oh no you can see in the mirror then you can say I don't have a bra oh my gosh y'all I gotta turn the mirror thank you for telling me to these. oh my gosh this is the joys of doing camera down I will turn it so you can see her for a second. But. Hey, y'all. I love you. Look, Zoe. They're watching this through the mirror. Oh, my. Denise, you are so observant. Um, But, yeah, I got to turn that off. I, I thank you for telling me. <laughs> okay. I can't be looking like that, y'all. I'm just trying to find my geisha girl. Everything else is in order, but oh, there she is. She's hiding from me. I just want to let you know if you hear any. There you go, Denise. That's for you. Now, there's another mirror. Can y'all see me in that? Yeah, join the club. I know, but y'all, y'all ain't nobody can see you. So we got to make sure nobody can see me. <laughs> Let's see here. All right, we got Denise. <sighs> oh, well, good. You can't wait when you get off. Oh, I hope you get to get off from work soon, darling. Goodness. So I'm going to put the little wax teapot over here and the little bag. This is two and this is ten if any interest. Isn't it beautiful sitting here? I'm going to move it, though. Uh, let's see here. I see a lag for sure. Oh, Misty, I'm sitting here with Elsie. Well, that made me think of the Golden Girls for some reason. <laughs> Love you three Golden Girls. I actually, um, I don't know if y'all seen that t-shirt. It says Dorothy Blanche Rose and uh, Dorothy Blanche Rose. Y'all, what's the mama's name? I can't even remember now. Um, would y'all give me a thumbs up? I would appreciate it. This is a little glass pig. You may have seen it before. 
And I'll start that at $6 if anybody likes. Sophia, yes, thank you. <laughs> Who would y'all, who do y'all think y'all are more like out of the Golden Girls? Who would y'all say you're more like? If you, um, Carrie, you're more like Sophia. Okay, who do y'all think LC's like? You gotta tell me. Okay, this is a very, I've showed this one time a long time ago, very different. This is an old Bible, and it's in this wooden box. Seems like I remember when I was little, one of these being on the coffee table. This starts, I'm starting it only at 15, if anybody likes it. But let me see if it has any issues. It's old. I think there was a little something with the actual Bible in here. Can't remember. Oh, yeah, this right here. That right there. So... I don't know. I think it was a tag, a name there. I can't remember. So if anybody likes this, it's at 15. Kind of old. Uh, brings back memories. It's got that little thing to hold it. And the Bible looks great inside. I don't think there was any writing. Yet. You know, Bibles sell very well on eBay, the old Bibles. You're a Blanche, Miss Lizzie? Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're a Blanche. Mm. She was something else, wasn't she, y'all? So if anybody likes this. Um, does it tell the year? Got a number on it. Something union made. I don't know. It makes me think it was a 1980s sum on that child, if any interest. And then I have this beautiful box. Oh, I should wait till Maria's here because she loves the old boxes that kind of looks like it was a drawer. You know, it could have a tag there. Um, this I'll start at $12. If you might like, so it's very sturdy. Only sometimes. This is what it looks like. It's the old box. But its print is just gorgeous. Look at the print. I love old boxes and tins along with the old jewelry boxes. So does Maria. We have that in common on the boxes. But this one's really pretty. If anybody likes it. They're great for storing stuff, you know, special little box or whatever. If no one likes this, this will not hurt my feelings because I just thought I have so many, I should try to part with a couple, you know. Okay, I'm just showing a few little random items before I get started on the jewelry. This is cute as can be. All right, you ready for it? <laughs> I'll start to sit ten if anybody likes it. He's nice and clean, in great shape, and does work. So, got the little scarf on. It's a little reindeer, I think, and he's fairly big. It's kind of hard to to see. I'll move my candles into that, y'all. I thought that would be perfect because sometimes I'm afraid I'm going to catch something on fire over there. But the little Rudolph starts at 10 if anybody likes them. Everybody's on 
by dandy though this is the older one i think that's amazing that he still works so great if anybody likes them <clears throat> if not that'll probably go to my daughter she's really totally all about christmas this year um she's already got her christmas tree up in her room and i have this little hat uh, five dollars if anybody screen kid or anybody likes the mermaids or if you do mesh looks brand new five dollars on the mermaid hat but it's an adult size okay now this is a very nice mickey he's a christmas mickey he is large, too. Can you see? He starts at 10. If anybody likes him, you can adjust his ears. He is looks like he just came off the store shelf. He's so nice and clean. And he is a big size. Let's see here. Well, I'm glad y'all get to be together. Well, whose house are you at? Any interest in Mickey starts at 10? <clears throat> if y'all hear the grunt, remember it's little Zoe. All right, let's see here. So, okay, the other random thing I have, if anybody's interested in uh, vintage old matchbook covers. These are cool. Um, trying to think. I'll do 20 for this whole bundle, and I think it's 200. That's pretty much what I paid for it. There's 200 here, and I'll start them at 20, which is a very good deal. It's um, I say they sold a lot at a dollar a piece. And they're just old matchbook covers. Different ones, some um, all different states. You probably know heard of some of these places. Just trying to show a few out of it. That was the best Western. I think some of these are from me and would be England too. So yeah, I think there's 200 in here. Old matchbook covers. They're fun to look at. I took them to my daddy's house for him to look through them. Just fun to look at. And it's a big thing, you know, out in Vegas. People go and buy, sell, and trade matchbook covers. Did y'all know that? It's a big thing. I enjoyed looking through them, too. I haven't looked at all of them. Am I missing comments? Or no, I don't think so. That one. Oh look at this one, how beautiful. Oh wow. A high blue tip. How oh, what a beautiful bird. <sighs> I like Miss Lizzie. 
Notting Nottingham and oh that's Pennsylvania. But there are some that were uh, over in England for these. Alright, I'm gonna put those up. Don't see any interest in that. This is a real pretty Christmas sweater. If anybody likes it, I think I might have showed it before. I'm going to give it a little lower price if anybody would like it. It's my ugly Christmas sweater brand. It's a large. And I started at 10. Um, I've seen her over at Dawn's channel quite often. When I always drop by Dawn's, I've seen Miss Carol Lee in there. And Dawn's on the night. She could be over there. I think she was here Saturday. I can't remember. So hopefully she'll come by. There's the brand. And it's size large. And it looks brand new. Black sweater. It's beautiful. That's your print on it it's got the red around the ba um, bottom and then the um, sleeves are green and white striped isn't that pretty y'all I hope you can see it at the angle we're at size large oh I think I heard my daughter let me speak to her a minute y'all she's been gone by, by herself so, hi sweetie you already by yeah isn't it eight all right. Five dollars in the Oh well, thank you. Um, mm. Is anybody interested in that beautiful Christmas sweater? Um, did y'all have fun? Y'all had they had a trunk or trait. Did a lot of kids come through? Yeah, bunch. Really? Yeah. The football game. Did you? The football game. It was a bunch. Um, did you eat anything? No, I didn't because well, right as I went to get food, the food truck closed. Oh my gosh. So I got to from the show. Oh, did you? Well, I was going to say I've got some link sausages. I was thinking about an egg sandwich on a potato roll. And the link sausages are bacon. I need to fix all that. And I thought about fixing me a pancake. But I was going to say the link sausages, if you want to fix them, you're good. You're not drinking that tonight, are no, you? No, it's for me. Okay. All right, well, come give me a hug. Did everybody like your outfit? Yeah. Guess what she wore, y'all? She had dress up. Remember the Harry Potter? I should have liked Zoe with me. I don't have your box. Oh, okay. Hey, love. What? You can't. It's pointing that way. Love you. Thank you. Um, when are you going to bed? Mm -hmm. Um. Anyway, you know the Harry Potter? The niece, L3, that I was selling last night. Um, nobody got it. It was a large size uh, child, but Morgan wore it. She's probably a large size adult. And she wore it and she looked so good in it. So that was great. She dressed up as Harry Potter. <laughs> so this is, uh, we're about through the random. I just think it's very, very cute. I started at eight. Oh, that's made in Occupied Japan, isn't it? Yeah, a little worn off. And it's just like a little bag or a purse. This is a nice little piece here to start at eight. But it is small. Let's see, I see a dot. I didn't miss anything, did I? I'm trying to pay attention more to chat. I didn't see where the three sisters were at. I just didn't know if Stella Rose was with you or not. So if any interest starts at eight for this, I think that's beautiful. Did y'all see my little owl card labradite? That's fine to keep, but I think it's beautiful. 
can't really see a lot of its flash. It has so much deep blue flash in this one. But I do have the uh, Lab Butterfly for sale. Um, that starts at $14 if any interest. It's got lots of flash. Flash is hard to catch. Lab flash on the camera, but see that deep dark blue? And it has lots of it. It's just hard to catch it. You come and see there. If anybody likes the Labradite butterfly. Beautiful. With Dad, still went home. Okay, y'all are at Dad's. All right. Well, good. Are y'all staying the night or just happen to be there when I come home? All right. We will start going into this. Some of these um, items here. Before we get into the actual what I picked out, I think, yesterday. And look at it. And I'm sure I'll have to do some testing. But this is a beautiful... Um, Stretch, it's I think magnetic. Mm. Let me see here. I don't remember how to get this out, y'all. Oh, yeah. Well, I can't remember how that I opened this one. Oh, yeah, like some magnetic right there's your magnet, but it also has the additional just like that, and it's beautiful. Um. I believe that's a dyed highlight in there. It slides. I'll start this at $10, which I think is great. That's what it's going to look like on. Very, very nice. Y'all see my big gang ring, see this there? If anybody likes this piece. And I can measure it, but um, I think this fits around my wrist. I really love this. I have a larger wrist. Okay, these are some clip-on earrings. I think they're just pretty cool. What do y'all think? And more. They do have a little weight to them, so why don't you get that removed? Oh, well, I went about it, and he said just whenever you can't tolerate it anymore, we can. And I just have not wanted to have a surgery, even if it would be a little one. But it's fairly big. I don't know if y'all can say it's deep. Can feel it. Um, the only surgeries I've ever had when I was younger, I had my tonsils removed back when they cut them out, not lasered them. Um, I'll start these at five if anybody likes them, and they are fairly large. Um, I had that, I had two C sections, which are a major surgery. I had really hard pregnancies. Um, and then I've had a foot surgery. I have a screw in my right foot. Any interest in these starting at five? So I just, I don't know. I have that too. What did you say it was? Ganglion. G-A-N-G-E-L-I-A-N maybe. You can Google it. See us. It's fluid field, I think. It's unsightly, but since I stopped cleaning for a living, it doesn't hurt me near as bad. That's another reason. Because the last time I went about it, and I also have some real bad arthritis in my thumbs, and like you can see this finger curving. He had said, you know, it's not going to get any better. It's, it'll just worsen, but... Um, you know, there's maybe a medication you could take to slow the arthritis down, but what really is going to help is to stop cleaning. So, you know, I had to give up the cleaning, and that is how this came about, y'all. Um, let 
Yeah, I know what a night. I remember you saying last night, you know, I hope you're in less pain, but uh, isn't this a beauty, y'all? We have got all types of stone on here. Uh, all types and sorts to stretch. Got all the stone on this. I'd start at 15. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to nudge that. And here's what it looks like. I think that's gorgeous. How's the lighting, y'all? Tried it over on that side rather than right behind me. Is it, a, is it any better, y'all think, or... The lighting. I think it's better actually. All right, let's see. That sterling will show that a little bit. These came back. Claws and A. They're gorgeous. Someone had bought these, but they've been, didn't ship out. Um, these I'll start the closing A at 10, if anybody likes them. They are a post, which is great. And I have got to tell Anna, I think I did receive the owls. There was these owls that I had ordered from her. See the little butterfly up here? Aren't those beautiful? Any interest? I start at whatever price I said, y'all. Lighting is great. Okay, thank you. Uh, red, a oh, red tiger's eye, Nate. Um, that red tiger's eye. Yes, I saw a piece. My friend has gorgeous red tiger's eye. And let's see, it is a line pin net. Oh yeah, well, I don't know how to price that either. Okay, this is a very nice Monet chain. It starts at 24. This is beautiful. Um, I'm going to say this is about, you could about do over the head on it. Beautiful gold tone chain. If anybody likes it. I bet you this is 30 inches long. I bet y'all are a hoot together, Carrie, L.C., and Nettie. I know me and my sister are a hoot together. I couldn't imagine it being three of us. I have a half-sister that lives in Maine. But any interest on the Monet necklace? All right, these are some pieces that uh, they're raw jade and serpentine. Um, just to have if you're a stone collector like I am. Um, and I'll do uh, I'll do a buy it now eight dollars for these if anybody likes them. It's raw jade and serpentine.
Oh, there's a beautiful Mexico sterling. We'll look at those in a little bit. All right, let's see. Now, these look like they could be sterling. I don't know. From here, maybe not. Hmm. I'll have to test them. I don't think so. I really don't think they are. Little dangles. What do they have in your hand? Okay. Let me see. You're one of three girls. It's a hoot when we're together. You haven't seen them in three years. Oh, bless your heart. Are they over the pond there with you? Oh, my. Oh, I also had two of these light up. I'm thinking Saturday's going to be the day I go to uh, have my sewing fun, fun day. Um, and I'm going to make some beautiful new rice bags. Now, where's my little stone at? I want to test these real quick. Sorry, Zoe. Oh, guess what, y'all? I went to get me another thing that I ice cream I ate last night. And I almost got it, but I saw something chocolate peanut butter. And I thought, mm, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to try this. They are in Scotland. Hmm. Let's give these a little scratch, y'all, real quick. Hope y'all aren't in a rush. Oh, very good scratch. Very good scratch, but we'll see here. I'm out of my 18K, but now I've gotten back used to using the actual copper. But uh, that's coming on down, so I'm going to need to order some more. I don't know. What do y'all think? Y'all think they were? I don't think they were. Nope. Nope. So they're not sterling, so I'll start them at $8 if anybody likes them. The little native-looking dangles here. They're very, very pliable, these are. I had to scratch very carefully not to bend them. So I feel like they're older. And that might be, I don't know, somebody's might have started eight if anybody likes. Okay, this is just a beautiful costume, gold tone and the pink uh, faceted, I believe it's glass. I think this is beautiful. I love costume. It's a little tight on my arm, but. I'll start that at $10 if you my likes. So it's just a little tight on my arm. I think that's gorgeous. So it starts at 10 if anyone likes it. Look how the back of it. I put her back. Hmm. This is nice. All righty, let's see what we got next. This is. This is a little uh, cameo necklace. Marked. Hmm. 
I don't think so. Um, and I'm trying to say, this is pretty nice. It's glass inside of the bronze looking. Uh, she's a beautiful. Hi, Celian. How are you doing, sweetie? Isn't she beautiful? We're just looking through some jewelry, darling. How are you doing? Um, these are glass. Um, it's a bronze look. Good. So, yeah, I'm thinking about an egg, fried egg on a potato bread. And, um, I've been craving a pancake so bad, y'all. So I'll start this at $10 if any interest. I've been craving a pancake. If you hear a little grunting or whatever, that's Zoe down here, y'all. She's. And you're about. Hmm. Well, it's got lots of extension, but. That little necklace is longer than I. Okay. Well, that sure does not look. I'm trying to look here. Okay, so Lynn, you like it, sweetie? I seen it, didn't I? Thank you, Denise. It just don't look that long, but it is. It's about a 18 inch anyway. Then you've got all the extension. Um, I'm thinking this is just uh, acrylic. And she, this is a, um, this is a grayish blue. A dark grayish blue. I think she's so pretty. Okay, I see no other interest. Toast and Marmite. What is Marmite? Thank you, Miss Celia. You want waffles. Oh, speaking of waffles, y'all. My Mary, I call her my Mary, that um, I'm watching her dog you for. She's in Michigan, visits her sister. Her sister has stage four cancer. It's very sad. And they had a wedding to go to. We call these waffles that Mary makes us. She'll have us over or we'll, she'll come over here. She brings the old timey waffle iron. And they are the best waffles. I mean, I'm not being biased. They really are. Did I say 10 on that? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Celine. Got you, darling. And uh, we call them Mary waffles. And my favorite she puts in, well, she freezes her blueberries and then she'll put them in. Um, blueberries. Um, pecans and then just the topping is a powdered sugar and melted butter and of course you can get chocolate chips you can get whatever you want let's say Vegemite it's a yeast extract wow okay now this I don't think it's marked but the wings move on this, y'all. And this looks to me, oh my, just look at this. This is beautiful. I think I'm going to give it a little scratch. Um, this looks like a gold field to me really does and look for its body to move these are some types of washers or something see in there i'm sorry that's buzzing up see that isn't that beautiful so it all completely moves this old uh, i'm going to give it a little scratch and uh best i've got is a pnk or the lowest i've got yeah it's a PNK. And where's the little stone? Real quick light. 
I have two of my homemade rice bags here, y'all. But like I said, I'm going to go uh, Saturday and make some more. I'll show you the ones that I have. Oops, I'm so sorry. So, yeah, I don't know. We're going to call this Just Gone Tall, okay, because it pretty much ate that line up. This I'll start at $13. Very cool. Yeah, I don't see these very often here. Sorry, I had it on the wrong one. A little over to one and a half. Let's say I just ate a bowl of chicken noodle soup. You really could go for bacon, peanut butter, and a peach jam sandwich. Oh my. Peach jam? Oh, I can't imagine it fresh. That sounds so good. Miss Bonnie. That reminds me of the song, I Came From the Land Down Under. What does? Okay, no interest in the little butterfly. Okay, here are the two rice bags I made. Yes, it's folded. So this is a longer one. And I will do $12 on buy it nails on the rice bags. And I just cut off and made a little ribbon to show what fabric is underneath. And it's a yellow, white, and black. You can warm these in the microwave for anywhere from one and a half minutes, three, four minutes, whatever temperature you're comfortable with, and they're wonderful. You can also put them in the freezer. This is a large one. I do 14 on this one, and it's this is a both vintage fabrics I used. So if you like these, um, and I just have some paper tied around it. It'll look pretty, but these are ready to go. So 12 on the smaller, 14 on the larger one. Uh, all my dry spikes, if you need interest. I sleep with one every night. Well, I've got one right here right now. Y'all know I warm my rice bag up all the time. <laughs> Here's the one I'm using. Um, Hubby's got one, too. They're wonderful for aches and pains in your back. Let's say, I love making my own jam. Mm, and from fresh peaches? Okay, these are the earrings I think I got from Anna. Oh, thank you, Denise. I think. I need to take a picture. Somehow, I need to. These are gorgeous. They're not marked, but they're glass. articulated and they're in that beautiful glass hand painted and also this uh they're painted up in here too in the eyes these i'll start at twelve dollars y'all these are super nice you get them in your hands you'll see I think they're beautiful. If you might like some. But thank you, Denisha. You were with me that night, weren't you? Right about two inches on the little owl. Whoops. I think these are so pretty, y'all. So different. All right, now I'm thinking these were sterling. So we'll look at our sterling here in about after my hubby gives me my first break, okay, y'all? And I got some beautiful sterling coming, like this is a gorgeous blue gold stone. Very nice sterling pendant. And it really is a beautiful piece of gold stone. It probably looks black, but it is a beautiful dark blue. 
I look at that. So we'll look at this uh, sterling here in a minute. This is a little glass ring at ten dollars. If anybody likes it, this one is it's a dark, dark purple, but it almost looks black. Um, so let's see what size it is. So ten dollars, if any interest. And that is a size about eight and a quarter, if anybody likes. And it is comfortable to wear. There's the back of it. All right, now I'm going to go into some of the jewelry I just handpicked yesterday in the old jewelry boxes here. It's beautiful. Oh, here's some little cameo earrings. This really would match that necklace Sue Lynn just got, I believe. Don't believe these are sterling. I think they're just a little silver tone. Oh, no, they wouldn't. They're totally different cameo totally different girl doesn't that look like barbie y'all if i can get it to focus why is it trying to do that to me why is it doing it after I, when i move it so um these uh these little came we'll do eight if anybody likes these Let's say here the peaches. <laughs> it does look like Barbie Donata. So that starts at eight. If anybody likes these, they look like about a half inch. And I can't keep my camera from going fuzzy. Yeah, about it. All right, let's say I'll put those over there too. couple more little pieces here before we go to that. I do have another North Carolina ring, quarter ring, and I do have many different states. I have some that just have Liberty. Oh, speaking of Denise, did you get your quarter ring? And if you wash these in soap and water, they'll shine up and be nice and shiny, or you can wear them like this older look. But this one is a North Carolina. Let's see if I can show the North Carolina without it going fuzzy. And I have other states. And then I have some that just have the Liberty Park cut. Yeah, that's North Carolina. If you anybody's interested, I could look for your state. Oh, sorry, Dolly. She's sitting here snoozing on this little pillow. Okay, this is a peacock pin net. If anybody likes it, and I wrote on here that it has slight wear. So let's look and say, oh, this is so pretty. This I start at 10. It hangs down to about four inches. Oh, you love it. Good. I wear mine as a thumb, a thumb ring, too. Here's the back of it. Let me put this back down. That's the back. Let's see where the wear is at. I don't remember. Pretty blue little stones. And then it's like an ombre, isn't it? It's got like turquoise color. Um... And that is glass. So at 10, if anybody likes this pen, that I think it's beautiful. I don't see where the slight wear is at. Maybe right here, right here around the edge. 
and that hangs about 14 inches. It is articulated. Okay, so Lynn, I see you, darling, at 10. Peacocks are beautiful animals, aren't they? It's unmarked, but I think it's gorgeous. All right, we'll count this down from three, two, last call. And we are sold to Celia for that beautiful peacock pen. Thank you, Darla. That's beautiful. You're welcome. Very much. I'm going to be enjoying this jewelry with y'all tonight because I haven't had time to really study on it. Some of it I might need to test because I hand picked it out very quickly. I was kind of needing to do some things, and so was my friend that came. And Miss Lizzie, when she comes, it's like her car boot sale. You know what that is. Just right out of the trunk of her car, she's got got it all and displays and different things. But this one keeps catching my eye. This this is um lots of costume. She had two um, high school pieces. Um, I think they went for about one fifty. I didn't even get to look at them in person. So that is uh, beautiful glass. Wow. Hmm, this is very nice. A lot of this costume is signed. Um, I believe this one is. Yeah, let's look and say, I believe this might be a Goldfield piece. Let's see what we can do. Start it out. Wow, does that say, this says, does that say Sterling? Y'all yeah, don't know if y'all can make out what it says, let me show you. Right there in the middle. Can't make it out. Does anybody else say Leva? Hey, Tori. Let me see. Well, here's the brooch. Let me see. Is Elsie Leva? Oh, okay. Good night, Elsie. Here's the beautiful brooch. But it's not open in the bag. But I can't make out that mark. We're going to scratch it real quick and we'll see what we got. Could y'all make it out? That, I don't think of that says Sterling. It looks like BB. I can't make it out, but I can tell it's a very beautiful, nice piece. Um, I'll start it. I'll start this at fifteen dollars. While well, if anybody wants to think about it, I'm gonna scratch it real quick. If anybody likes it, um, it's. Uh, you like it, say, Lynn, right at two inches. And look at that baguette. Huh? This is beautiful. Hi, Gracie. All right, let's see here. Let me uh, put some 
chemicals on there. We may have we may have gotten a really good deal here. Deal here, Miss Celia, which is perfectly fine. I keep tipping this over. Okay, let's see. All right, so I'm thinking it's just a gold tone. Any other interest? No, I think it's just a gold tone, so right. So right at two inches, beautiful little brooch. Um, if no other interest, let's start calling this down to Sulian at fifteen dollars. We need sixteen if any other interest. Beautiful costume from three and two is marked. I can't make it out right here in the middle. Last call and sold to Sue Lynn. All right, beautiful. I love this, Sue Lynn. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Will you wear this or just put it in a collection or gift it? What do you think? All right, I got you, sweetie. Okay, this is a beauty. It's a fish. Do anybody like fish brooches? Very different. I don't know what kind of fish. This is just the uh, enameled, I think. Gold tone. You'll wear it for a while. Is it marked anywhere? Uh, no, this is not signed. I'm just kind of picking up as we go in this old jewelry box. This is the fabric one we're looking through. And if anybody wants, can I don't want to keep anybody up, but we have this one to go to, go through to. And in any time, I can pull out my sterling for the night that I have pulled for tonight. If anybody's interested, just let me know. Um, this one I'll start at eight. If anybody likes it, it is just a gold tone and unsigned. But I think different and cool. What kind of fish is this, y'all? That is a beautiful, creamy white inlay to it. Any interest? All right. These, I loved these. I don't know if the mark. Look at that beautiful color on these vintage costume here. Let's see. Let me find the other one here. I just love the color of them. Oh, I got a beautiful. Oh, I just love looking at this. I hadn't got to hardly enjoy it at all, y'all. So I'm going to enjoy it with you. I'm looking for the other blue one. I don't see that. Let's put this over here. Do we say it? Now, these are a. Uh, Crystal. These are crystal. And these are an old piece. Beautiful crystal here. Um, they're a clip on. And I don't know. I don't think that's a uh, maker's mark there. I've seen a mark on it. These I would start at 15, I'll say. Absolutely going to really catch the light. Beautiful. Be my likes them. Koi, maybe. Possibly. Could be. Okay, Celia. I think these are beautiful. Okay, Amy. 
All right, let's see here. Oh, my word, did this hummingbird. Okay, this one's very... This could be a gold field, I don't know. It says, oh, look at this. That's beautiful. I start that at 15. Oh, you know, angelfish. I was thinking of angelfish, too. And I am not sure. This is glass, or it feels, you know, it's not acrylic. If anybody likes that, it's an old piece. This is beautiful. Untied. Anybody likes it? These are, oh, these are so beautiful. These are a vintage. Look at the back. Is that filigree work? Um, I'll start these at eight dollars. If anybody would like them, it's glass. Looks like it's got an AB wash on it, kind of, don't it? See here. He might like some. Beautiful. Alright, let's see. These are by Nemo. Have y'all heard of that? I had never heard of it. I looked it up. It's just a vintage brand. Old brand. Nemo. These are just so gorgeous. These all start at $18, y'all. These are about a $50, $60, $70 pair of earrings here. As far as their value. Uh, screw back. That's how the back is. Beautiful. I love these. Try to find another one. There's that other blue one, which I just love. All right, let's see. I don't see any interest in these. This is a uh, pendant horse. Gold tone and silver tone. It's got white to it. Anyways, I don't know what you call this guy, but uh, I've started it. I'll start this at eight dollars if anybody likes it. It's got a nice large bell on it. If you like horses.
This is a beautiful seahorse, and it's marked L.C. Of course, I've, I always think of L.C. when I see the L.C. jewelry. Um, two inches, look at this. And that's enameled. I'll start this at $10 if anybody likes it. Sorry about my camera going fuzzy. Teal green, pretty blue. Yeah, here's Zoe. Little seahorse. Are y'all enjoying looking at the vintage story or would y'all like to say something different? Here is an old brooch. Wow. This is beautiful. Hmm. I don't, it's not a sign that I can say. I'll start this at here. It's beautiful. I'm not good with vintage jewelry knowing what to price it at. And uh, it's value, especially ones that aren't signed. I'm just going by my own estimation of when I look at it. So I guess if somebody likes it, they'd pay whatever for it, right? I don't know. But I think that's beautiful. You hear? Yeah, she's kind of snoring. So far that hangs. Okay, these are, these look like um, copper on the back, but I don't know. They're clip-ons. Beautiful on the back. Look at that. These are just old. I'll start these at 12. I might like some. I think Hubby's coming to give me my first break in a minute, y'all. Uh, we might do a little giveaway afterwards. And <clears throat> aren't those beautiful? Oh, does she? <laughs> Your chi? Chi. Is that um, Chihuahua you mean or something else? Aren't those beautiful? Very nice. Okay, this is a very nice uh, rose quartz. And it's got a little rose quartz, I believe, here. And I can't remember what the green is. With a couple of little charms on this pendant. If anybody likes it, I'll start this at $10. This is, this is beautiful. Look. I believe that's a nice base of rose quartz. Nella is nine. What does that mean? Nella is nine. Oh, you mean your little doggy or something? Mm -hmm. So, if anybody likes this pen, that starts at that price. That's gold. Gold color. So, who's Nella? I can't remember. I'm a little bit twisted up here. 
So I'm sure Heavy's gonna come talk football with you tonight. <laughs> Let's see, this one looks smart, is it? No, I guess so. This is just acrylic and a silver tone. I started at five. Actually, I can do four on it. If anybody likes it. Four dollars. Silver tone, black acrylic. Okay, look at this hummingbird bright. Y'all need to take my toothbrush and dust this. This is beautiful. Is it signed? No, but it's very large. Hey, Jen, how are you doing tonight? Oh, it's beautiful. I'm just looking at some beautiful vintage that I picked out yesterday. And I'm enjoying it along with y'all because... I hadn't really got to look at it and admire it. I handpicked it all, but very quickly. Look at that. That's a hummingbird, right? And it's... Oh. Hi, Janie. How are you, sweetie? This hummingbird, y'all. Brooch. I'd have to start that one at 15. It's a nice high quality, I can tell. It's heavy. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm getting ready to take my first little break. Uh, hubby just got done working. And he'll come give me one. These are the beautiful. I love these in this color. Oh, they look like climbers, kind of. Are they marked? They're just a, a vintage costume. I love these. I'll start them at $7. Make them affordable. Yeah, I think these are climbers on the ear, so it's going to take up two spots. I have three holes on each side and one in my top cartilage. I cut that when I was 18. How many times are y'all's ears pierced? So any interest in these? That This is the most beautiful blue color to me. I love that color. Oh, yeah, I showed those. Here's just a little gold tone. Look at that little dolphin pen. Isn't that something? Or porpoise. I don't know which one. Pen like this. Once when I was three months. Two holes on one side and one on the other. Four on one ear and three on the other. Oh, that's me, Miss Lizzie. Four on one and three on the other. Um, this is beautiful, isn't it? I'll start that at $5 if anybody likes it. I'm sorry about it. It keeps fuzzing up. If y'all hear the snoring, that's so <laughs> All right, here's just another old pair. Unmarked. Beautifully. And I'll start these at six. I got my top cartilage when I was 17. Oh, I got my top cartilage when I was 18. Oh, aren't these beautiful, y'all? I could just sit and look at vintage costume. 
forever. They sure do need to be cleaned. I don't think they're more, they're gorgeous. I'll start those at seven if anybody likes them. Now I can do these this way. Aren't those beautiful? And I love this size right here. She's snoring, y'all. <laughs> I love that size. Oh, yeah, Grace. If I had to do it over, I wouldn't have pierced Morgan's when she was a baby. I'd wait and let her decide to do it and everything, you know. This is just an old brooch here. Oops, costume. But it's beautiful. I'll start that one at seven if he might likes it. And that is a champagne color. I thought it was about an inch in diameter. Oh, wow. Well, my daughter pierced her ears not long ago again. I think her third hole. I was like, Morgan, are you serious? Her and her, all her friends did it. Here is a. Uh, a JJ brooch that's very cool. Um, start this at 15. Isn't that cool, y'all? The JJ. I don't know if that's Peter. Probably around three inches. That's a nice piece. Do you believe they put a man on the moon? Man on the moon. You like this, Denise? Isn't it beautiful? All right, we'd need 16 if there's any other interest. Start calling it down from three, two, one. Last call. And we're sold in an ace at 15. That's a golden ace. Congrats, that's beautiful. I love it. I love that one. I can't wait to have a fried egg sandwich on a potato roll. Do y'all like potato bread? I love it. I love all kinds of bread. Oh my. I haven't eaten today. So I'm sitting here. And I did get me some more, a pint of ice cream. Um, but I got some type of peanut butter chocolate. There you go, sweetie. Thank you. Look at all these. Some of them are marked. A lot of them are enamel. Okay, let's put some of these pieces back in here and switch over. I just love that hummingbird brooch. And switch over to our other jewelry box we have to go through here. Hi, Laura. We're looking.
And there's some jewelry, darling. I got these two old jewelry boxes. I love this one. And I love, love this one. Now, I have to be careful because I realize y'all could see me. <laughs> and I ain't got my bra on. <laughs> so I have to be careful. We got to turn it a certain way so y'all can't see. See the old girls hanging. <laughs> Hubby's getting ready to give me a little break, y'all. My first one of the night. Jen, I'm putting back all my Christmas jewelry. Oh, look at that, y'all. I love this. What even is it? Okay. So that's, somebody's etched on that something. Hey, this is just a, say, in the mirror. Oops, I dropped it. With uh, some couple leaves and it says somebody has scratched on it. When Zalen? Can't read the date on it. 83? I can't read it. I don't know if that was a part of something or, or what. <laughs> Thank you. That's just an old something or another, y'all. I don't know. I think it's cold, too. It's like a frame. I hear hubby coming. Just an old piece. Y'all, I've got to take my first break, but we got lots of goodies in here. Lots of goodies. I don't know what all we got in here. Okay, so, and I'll do a little, um, yeah, and I would sell that probably at 10 if any interest. It's two flowers, and little flowers in there. That looks just like a piece of cool old paper. I don't know what this is. Maybe it was the top of a box. Does that say 80s have it? You like that, Tori? It's just an old thing, is it? All right, I sold the Tory. <laughs> Thank you, Tory. All right, hubby, you feeling bad here? Today was his shot day. He always moving his shot one day every week. He moves it again, trying to get to Thursday. You can't just, he takes it on Monday, and you can't just move it to Thursday. You got to, like last week, he took it on Tuesday. This week, he took it on Wednesday. Next week, he'll take it on Thursday. Thank you, Tori. This is beautiful old thing here. There you go. I'll wrap that up good for you. So his, his shot's starting to kick in. And he'll be, this is probably my only break I'll have, and he's getting ready to. Oh, you will? More than likely. Um, two, just in case anybody wasn't here, I have the old. Not old, but it is vintage fabrics. I used rice bags. I'm using this cold or uh, hot heat therapy. Heat or ice therapy. They're great to snuggle to. You got stomach cramps. I sleep with one every night. They'll hold heat. You know, put it in the microwave. They'll hold heat for well over an hour. Yeah, it does. This is a very large one here. It's 14. This one's 12. It's a good size, but not big as this one. And I've already got them, like, ready to go wrapped. So. You can wave at them through the mirror here, honey. Honey, I just have to be careful because I ain't got my bras here on. And, I don't have oh, mine on either. I got a beautiful pin neck and earring set coming up next. I don't let, I'll let Hubby, maybe Hubby will do the giveaway. Or is it a night night? Oh, we'll see. Okay, thank you. You can write down the number and do it if you want to. I'm giving away the little white diamonds. And you know, nobody wanted this. This is Occupied Japan. Little purse. It's a really cool piece. Uh, we'll have that for the giveaway. We're 
Yep, Saturday we're going to have some Star Wars merch. Let me put my wifey's rice bag in the microwave. I'll come talk to everybody for a couple minutes. Okay. So, greetings and salivations to everyone. How is everybody's Wednesday? Let's see here. Hi, Grace. Hi, Tori. Lizzie. Uh, I'm uh, I'm getting there. Uh, like Misty said, it's shot day. So I feel about like, oh, eight pounds of crap in a five-pound bag. But, you know, it's all good. Yeah, I have some uh, Star Wars merch on Saturday. So, hi, Amy. Let me scroll back through here. We got 12 people in with us this evening. Welcome, welcome. Scrolling back through, because you know how I like to say hey to everybody. So let's see here. Hi, Denise. Hello, Jewelry Jen. Let's see here. Let's see who else is going on here. Want to make sure I say hi to everyone. Let's see here. There's Jen. And jewelry, etc. Hello, hello. Hi, Janie. Uh, let's see here. Who else we got? Uh, oh, I see that there's another Chihuahua in the chat. Uh, from Miss Tori has a Chihuahua. We're babysitting, or we are Chihuahua sitting for. Hi, Sue Lynn. Uh, let's see here. Or we're, we're, uh, we are. Puppy sitting for a friend of the family. Uh, let's see here. Hi, Robin. How goes it to everybody? So, let's see here. Hi, 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 hi. Ah, oops, I knocked the table accidentally. I'm so sorry. Hopefully, I didn't make everybody queasy from all the swingy. So, baby girl way. Well, Zoe is about, and she just looked at me whenever I said her name. She is uh, going on, oh, shoot, let's see her. Got her whenever Morgan, uh, she's 10, 11. Uh, and the Chihuahua that we are sitting, well, now Zoe, she's a miniature Chihuahua, but she's pudgy. She's supposed to be about five pounds. She's probably about eight or nine, a uh, little turd. And the Chihuahua, we're, uh, we are sitting is, I think Misty said she's 14. Um, her name is Dixie, Dixie Doodle. Hi, Paula. What's going on with everybody? Oh, let's see here. Uh, uh, yeah, Misty's taking just a quick break to go uh, uh, go hit the restroom. Uh, uh, and you're babysitting some grand dogs tomorrow. I hear you. I hear you. Well, I, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Misty says that we have some white diamonds going to be part of a giveaway. So it is a perfumed body lotion. It smells me good type deal. Um, that's, that's going to be coming up in the giveaway. I see that we got 13 people here. Uh, now, you do have to make sure you register just in case if you're not. Uh, I can throw, uh, I can throw the, and that little, oh, and the little handbag. It's a, it's a occupied Japan. And if we have any Star Wars fans, we got some Star Wars merch in the upcoming Saturday sale. Let's see, 16 here, here. All right. So let's see here. Uh, I have just written down a number that I'm putting right there. Everybody can see that paper. And we will do a giveaway for the little Occupied Japan Ceramic Place and some Smell Me Good Lotion. I need unique numbers from 1 to 40, if you please. Hi, love. How you dozing? No, I'm not a pro. I'm just... I'm just a goofball nerd, but that's kind of you to say. That is kind of you to say. So if I can get some unique numbers. Okay, Robin's got 33. Robin has got 33. 
Uh, let's see here. Grace. Hi, Grace. I, I think I said hey to you, but want to make sure here. Grace is 37. Let's see here. Tori is 7. Uh, Denise is 13. Denise is 13. Lizzie is 27. And Amy is 9. And let's see here. Uh, uh, I'm trying to read this name. Hi, Sassy Nick. Uh, 16. Sassy is 16. Uh, Janie is 39. Janie is 39. Love is uh, 20. Uh, it's from 1 to 40, Paula. If you please, ma'am. If I can have a different number there, Miss Paula, if you please. Uh, oh, all right. Paula says 23. Okay. Hey, that's a great number. That's the goat's number. That's Jordan's number. Uh, yes, uh, Misty is taking a quick little break here, Sassy. Uh, so, and w welcome, welcome this evening. We're glad to have you back. Uh, let's see here. Uh, make sure I'm not missing anybody here. Do, 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 All right, cool deal. Oh, I didn't know that you was a Jordan fan there, Paula. All right, so let's see here. I've got 14 and, I'm sorry, 16 in chat. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten numbers. Uh, do uh, some a uh, couple more minutes here. Make sure everybody's got a chance to get in on the little giveaway. We have this little occupied Japan timepiece. It's a little ceramic place, and we have some white diamonds. Smell me good stuff. Perfumed body lotion. <laughs> that is going to be the prize. For the winner, winner, chicken dinner. So, a couple more minutes here. So, let's see here. Um, who is glad that it's Wednesday? Oh, it's always laying on a little pillow. Who's glad it's Wednesday? And in case uh, anybody didn't hear, we will have some Star Wars merch uh, in this coming Saturday sale. So... If anybody's any Star Wars fans or wants to pick up some Star Wars merch for maybe some Christmas shopping, Saturday would be a good time to get here. Oh, oh, Paula's a Star Wars fan. Nifty. Uh, love how I describe merch. Um, it's nerdy and goofy. Uh, I, I find if I mispronunciate things, then it, it turns out to be a little fun and people's ears might perk up, you know. You sort of. Okay, well, how about this? Um, Lizzie, do you know the, uh, the difference between Star Wars and Star Trek? If the answer is yes, then we're good. If the answer is no, then we'll, we'll need to have like a night where everybody comes in. I'll host a Zoom because uh, I can hold like 100 people and just have a Star Wars night uh, watching like Star uh, nine Star Wars movies back to 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 back. Uh, but you'll need like a huge tub of popcorn, uh, some maybe some snacks. I don't know, Twizzlers or Raisinets, and of course you got to have the the big uh, Coke, the big gulp. That uh, if you drink it, you have to go to the restroom like six times during the course of a ninety minute movie. So, okay, you think? So? Okay, how about this? Um, have you ever heard the song? Bum bum bum. Bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. If so, that is Star Wars. Uh oh, a marathon. <laughs> Pe oh, Pepsi. Fair enough. Fair enough. Good and plenty's. I hear you. I hear you. Oh, Mark Pennock says no. Mark, I'm not your father. <laughs> Okay, well, Lizzie, that song is the uh, Imperial 
death march whenever you hear it the empire is around and they get ready to get effing somebody up <laughs> or they try to anyway uh let's see here Uh, today's shot day, just finished up working, giving Misty a quick break while she used, uh, used the restroom, you know, uh, you call Vader Annie of, uh, well, right there is a true fan. Uh, you'll win for sure this time, Annie. Although I've got a, uh, I've got a question, George's writing style, uh, a 16-year-old girl, like, falling for a 10-year-old boy. I'm not sure that that's a, that'd be well-received in today's society. So, you know. Uh, let's see here. I hear you. Well, Mark, I tell you what, dude. The giveaway this evening is White Diamonds Perfumed Body Lotion. This would make... Anything smell good. I don't know, except Zoe's breath. Poor thing. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So, uh, we got 18 in chat. Last call for any numbers for the giveaway. Well, it's just her breath. She's not nasty, just her breath. All right. Counting down uh, from 10 seconds. Last call for unique numbers for giveaway. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. No mas numbers. All right. So, 10 people's numbers. Here is the magic number. Oh, jewelry got it in uh, as I was reaching for. Okay. Let me write it down. Jewelry. 19. Laura got him before you said that. So. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that she's uh, jewelry, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. All right, so winning number is thank you, Denise. That is awesome. Uh, you're picking up half pint from school tomorrow, going to hit the gym. Fair enough. You get some good rest, dude. Feel better. All right, winning number. Ooh, Halloween numbers. Wait, oh, that's bad. Okay, bada boom. Winning number is 23 the goat and i believe that that means paula is the winner winner chicken dinner by getting it right on the nose well done paula well done congrats congrats later tater don't be a hater ha. well done paula well done getting it right on the nose for the giveaway Congrats, congrats. You're going to have some smell me good stuff in this cute little ceramic purse, which uh, the time period was from Occupied Japan. Whenever, uh, whenever between, let's see here, Occupied Japan was right before World War I, whenever it was the Russo Japanese War. So very, very nifty. So very, very nifty, Paula. Thank you, You're welcome. So I'm going to set this aside right here for Misty. She's getting ready to kick me out of the seat, and I might be back one more time. It just depends on how I feel in a little bit. Uh, so let me just make this note here for the wifey. Did you see that uh, dad is picking up half pint tomorrow? Okay, that's great. Yeah, I'm taking, he's picking. Oh, yeah. so, all right. Because you are very girls, welcome, Miss Paula. In case the girls want to stay up late looking at jewelry, we're well, not too late, but... Ah, uh, you're very, very welcome. Uh, I didn't do anything, Lizzie, but you're welcome. But, uh, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Check this out, check this out. I don't know if, anybody, if everybody's seen this, but this is too cool. It's a, it's a paperweight, but watch this. Check that out. Okay, Denise, we'll see you in a second. You get you a break. But is that not the coolest? <laughs> All right, I'm getting kicked out of the seat. So right here is the is the winner. Oh, okay, the congrats, Paula. Y'all gotta be careful. Y'all can't say my my boobies because I ain't got no bra on. <laughs> I'll have one on either. 
you want me to fix you something for her? I'm going to fix this up when I get done. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there, um, hello, dear baby dolls. How are y'all doing tonight? Um, I saw a lot of you come in. Is everybody doing good? For some Thank reason, they, uh, they always come in whenever I'm here. What did I do? Hmm. They love you and they leave. I think it's because of the weird voices. Well, I like your accents. Let's put this in here for Paula. You, you got that number right there from Miss Paula. Mm -hmm. You got that number right there, that goat number? No, I don't like that, whatever that is. Oh, come on, I can't. No, that is not. All right. Yeah, I don't know if y'all can see, but Zoe's napping here on a little pillow. Let's see. Can you see her? There she is. She's napping, so if you hear her, you'll know what it is. So, I pulled out a few, um, we'll look at the sterling if y'all like. I pulled out a few pieces, I don't know. Well, some I haven't ever shown. This is beautiful. This is a uh, blue gold stone here. And it is a very nice piece. This is a beautiful piece of gold stone. One of the pretty, pretty, and it's a dark blue. And that is a sterling pendant. And I will start that at 20 if any interest. Does anybody like gold stone? I had never had any blue. Let's see if I can zoom up on it a little bit. Okay. You like gold stone. It's beautiful, isn't it? And this is a very nice piece, I think. And it's a beautiful pendant. Look at the scroll work. Can't hardly make out what that is. And it's got a nice large bell, too. And that is in the stone, I think, that piece up the top left there. But I was trying to say <clears throat> what this is marked inside. Here's its mark. Let's see if we can look at it. Oh, it's just a 95 part. Oh, there's a J. Is that a J? It looked like it for a minute, but I ain't sure. Okay, Laura loves this. Any other interests? We'll start calling her down. It's about an inch. You can see it uh, up close, the pretty blue color, can't you? Look at the sparkle. I love that. All right, so let's call them down from three and two. Last call on it. And we're sold to Laura for 20. Thank you, Laura. I hope you'll really enjoy that. Where's your charger at, honey? Over here. Oh, gosh, I need to plug it in. I hadn't plugged it in. You love blue gold stone. Why ain't that sign? I had never, um, I think I, this might be my first piece that I've had. I picked that out about a week ago. So congratulations, darling. Okay. Um, yeah, I need to plug my charger in. Y'all thought I had it plugged up, but I don't. Now my light's flickering. Whoops. My light came out of the drop cord here, y'all. Let me plug it back up. Mm.
let there be light. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I hope y'all can't see my bra's earlessness. Okay, you will. Thank you so much. You're welcome so much, sweetie. I started that a lot lower than what I planned on. Just for y'all. All right, let's see what's next here. This is a... No, we can't. Okay, good. Let's say that's Mark Mexico 925. I have a $40 on it. Yeah, it's definitely worth 40 for sure. Well, these are, uh, it's just an articulated, look at the clown. And the body moves. Look at that. Oh, me? Oh, thanks. Y'all, isn't this beautiful? Whoops, we went fuzzy. Yeah, I think this one is worth 40. That's an old piece. And look at that. If anybody likes, if you, you would have to think it's worth 40, right? Hi, Dennis. Thank you for the thumbs up. <clears throat> Value is in the in the eye of the beholder. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? He's pretty big, ain't you? Now? I don't see any interest in him. So we will move along from here. Yes, we could both look, all of us could be looking at the very same thing. And we'd see it different. I don't know if Laura's still here, but this is our FP925. This is a beautiful sterling ring. Um, I was wondering what type stone this is. It's absolutely beautiful. This isn't snowflake. Uh, is it snowflake obsidian? I can't remember. Does anybody know? I'm making some of my... You are snowflake. I got it right. Oh my gosh. I'm so tickled about it, y'all. I got it right. Isn't it beautiful? It is a nice big sterling rain. Marked FP, I think. Oh my. It's a beautiful one. I don't really totally know, but I'm getting, I'm learning. I'm learning a lot from this sweet, beautiful girl named Laura, who's willing to help me learn. Oh, this is a nice size nine, you guys. Anybody likes it? Okay, let me think. Hi, Charlotte. How are you, sweetie? I don't even need to zoom up on that, it, do I? That is a gorgeous, I love the snowflake obsidian. I think it's beautiful. That is beautifully made. And a size nine. Uh, I'll start it at 38. It feels very nice on the hand, too. Feels very soft and very comfortable, even though it's a big ring. If anybody likes it, it'll really shine pretty if I did a little wipe on it. Does anybody like that one? 
Ada sapi. Hey, Santa. Dear, Thomas ride the ant. Toss nine. Sterling Snowflake Obsidian. I think it's signed FP. Okay, I don't see any interest in this one. <clears throat> Let's see what else we have here. <clears throat> these are just, these are old screwback flower earrings. They're only marked sterling, I think. That is enormous and beautiful. Yes, I think it is. So sweaty. Um, these are really old. These are beautiful. And I'll start these at 30. Sterling marks right there. And they're fairly large. Aren't they gorgeous? I've got them hooked together. If any interest about an inch diameter on them. I'm giving my nails a bright call. The press ons is really wearing them out. Then and haven't oh those are pansies. Oh how beautiful. Y'all really know your flowers. <clears throat> okay, I'm moving on from those. I'm just going through my little sterling pieces. Well, this isn't sterling. But I have one of these left. It's like a little perfume bottle. And it's a tiny little piece. And um, I started them at 15. This is a pink C. Sediment Jasper. And I think it's a beautiful piece of it. This unscrews. And I don't know how much uh, volume that would actually hold. But I love this little card. Look like a little jewelry or a little perfume bottle. And you just screw that back on. Starts at 15 if anybody likes. About an inch and a half, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's so see if what it looks like up close. And that, oh, that little silver look on. Any interest on this little natural stone carved jewelry or perfume? I keep on to say jewelry. Perfume bottle. Okay, let's see. These are some uh, beautiful sterling earrings. Let's see if anybody likes these. Excuse me, I'm going through these old jewelry boxes here. I handpicked all this yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to enjoy it. I quickly picked it. Quickly picked it up. Let's have a look at this first. Now, this little ring has a bend on it. It's one uh, I've shed this once before. It's a beautiful ring. Mother of Pearl. And I'm not sure about this. If this is. I'm thinking it was turquoise. But it looks. 
to show it up close, see what you guys think. Is this a dyed? Let me think. Halle? The black stripe, the black veins, and then the, uh, it's got some marcasites there on the sides. Very well made. It's got a little bend in it. And what was its marking? Oh, I don't know. Y'all have to look, find it and tell you. Okay, I think that's it. Seems like this was a native ring. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. You see that MO with a feather? I think it's a little feather in between. MO. I don't know where the sterling marks on it. Anyways, I'll start this at 40, y'all. If you might like it, and I'll show you the size here. And when I put it on, it feels just fine with it, with the little bend. It's just fine. It's a smaller ring. It's a size six, almost a six and a quarter. If anybody likes it. This is a native, no, this has got the centurions, or centur, I can't remember what you guys call these. It's like this. This one starts at 40 also, and it has a very different marking I've never seen. Let's see if I can get, get it to show. No, it's trying to be fuzzy. Can you say that? We about could. Why is it doing that, y'all? What? Does anybody have a tip for me? Say it'll it'll zoom. It'll get it, and then it. Fuzzes out. Does anybody have a tip for that? Anyway, this is the old right center. Yeah, does anybody know why it's doing that? It focuses and then it zooms out like that. What's going on, y'all? Anyways, I don't see any interest in these. This is a larger. This is a size 9, and of course it, it is pliable here. But it's at a size 9 the way it is. If you need interest in these. I just don't know how I get it focused, and then it just goes blurry. Okay. All righty, let's see. Now, here are some sterling earrings. These are beautiful. I don't know. Is it just like glass with little blue flowers in them? And I don't know what my camera's trying to do. I really don't. I'm sorry about that, child. Aren't those beautiful? I'll start these at 20. Look at that. And I don't know where these might be marked at. They're beautiful. Right there. Anybody likes these? Or isn't that something? I think those are gorgeous. Well, not only the rain, Paula, but 
Looks like the earrings too. What it look at that. Can anybody tell me what to do? Okay, what is uh I see you Paula. Three ticks, y'all. One eight two eight three eight. No. What's three little ticks? These are gorgeous. If we could get the camera to focus. Any other interest? I'm sorry, y'all. That's got to be aggravating, y'all. It's aggravating me. And there's the other little one. But I got another beautiful little pair here. I don't even really got to look at these good. I've tested them, but I haven't really enjoyed them. Aren't those gorgeous? These are beautiful, Paula. All right, let's call it down. <laughs> I'm wanting to slap it from three, two, one. Last call. Oh, is that signed? Or is that the nine two five? Yeah, they're signed, y'all. Oh, no, that was the 925. All right. We're sold to Paula. Congratulations to you. These are going to be so beautiful in your ears, Paula. Yay. I just love those. Alrighty, on the jury box lid, okay? Thank you for noticing that. Maybe we can do this, possibly. Let's see if that helps, y'all. Now, here was the other pair. They're just like those, and I'll start these at 20 also. They look like an older, and they have the flowers inside, I guess, this glass. Trying to get that. I can't quite get this to show y'all. And I'm not sure where the markings are. I don't know. Might be up on the dangle. I wish y'all could see these. How beautiful. Um, the little dried flowers back there are. It's the shadow right here. Well, I just can't show them to you because I try. It's the same deal as the little blue, but these are like little yellowish dried flowers in there little sterling earrings those are at 22 if anybody saw them good enough to like them all right let's see here these are A little sterling silver earring. Yeah, she gets. With a little pearl. And I suppose that's a real pearl. Now, I love the way these hook. I 
Um, I don't know why my camera's doing it, y'all. I really don't. Let's uh, turn this see quick if that'll help. There are marks right up here on the side. And I'll start these at 15 if anybody can see them. Y'all, it ain't never done that. I just don't understand. There, they're marked down there. Anybody likes these? They're very pretty. You hear her too? <laughs> I don't know why I'm, uh, can y'all see it from back here? See anybody like these? I like these. Um, Zoe is sweet as hell. I like those that hook like that. All right, and here's the other pair. Are there little crosses? And these I'll do, let's say what we do. Let's do 20 on these if, if you might like some enough. They're beautiful. Sterling silver crosses. Let's see if we can look at them close. I don't know where my little mark is. These are tested, though. Might be inside here somewhere. Yeah, I believe it is. The camera's focusing on everything in the background. I know. Let me see. Maybe if I move this. We'll see if that helps. Do anybody like the crosses at 20? Little sterling crosses. I, I I probably will end up keeping these if nobody likes them because I love the one that hooks right under the earlobe like that. Is it doing better now? I think it is, y'all. Think so. Maybe I'll fix it. Alrighty. Thank y'all, honey. I think we might have fixed it. Let me lay these right here. Did y'all want to look at a few more little sterling pieces? Sorry, Zoe. Um. Okay. This is a gorgeous piece. This one I start at 40. This is an 800 European silver, and it's, I think, a beautiful tourmaline. I love tourmaline. Look at that. Yeah, much better. Okay, good. This is a gorgeous pen that here. Well, All right. Oh, it's doing it again, y'all. Wonder if it has to do with my lighting, also. 
Oh, it looks clear tor tourmaline. It's got the pink. Um, let's see. Pink, blue, green. Let's see if I put something behind it. Maybe you can see it better. You see the pink and the green and the blues around the sides. It's absolutely beautiful to look like. Look at. There you see it a little. You see the green, blue, and pink around the edges. Let's see if we look at it up close. Could you see it? There, it's a little better. Can you see that, Laura? It's beautiful. My mom's first purchase with me was tourmaline. I'm trying to say it right. See it now? Green, purple, pink, blue. We're a tourmaline. I can't remember. Maybe 14 karat gold earrings. And she just got them and she loves them. It's really beautiful. Yes. But this is a European silver. Right down there, 800. And it's a pretty big one, if anybody likes it. But yeah, say what you mean, how it looks clear. But it does, that's what's so funny about it. You look at it and you're like, is that clear or what is going on with this? Very amazing. Here are some, um, some blue, some pretty stone sterling pendants and a necklace. Let's see if I can figure out what this one is. Let's see what we can do on it. I'll start this one at 30 if anybody likes it. It's got a braided chain, 18 inches, and uh, this is a sterling. Um, I don't know, Laura, what this stone is. Hi, Elizabeth. Here's your chain. Eighteen inches. Is that Dalmatian, Jasper? I'll wait on Laura to tell me I don't think I'm right, but that's what I would guess for it. And there's your chain. Ocean Jasper. Okay. I thought the little spots might be down ocean, but and it's probably about an inch. And that starts at 30 for the beautiful chain and the stone. And my like that. Okay, now this, I do not know what this is, but it is a beautiful pen that. What does that say? It's a fairly large one, too. Oh, Thailand, 925. Laura, do you know what this is? The um, last one necklace was 30. Star. I don't know what this is.
And I'll start this at the pendant here at 20, y'all. Well, we'll do 18 on it. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I need to go check on my husband. It sounds like I hear him in there. Yeah, 20 on this pendant. And this necklace, Amy, if this is the one you were talking about, it's either an ocean jasper or a Dalmatian jasper. We're not sure. It's 30. It's an 18-inch necklace. No problem. Hi, Mark. Mark? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. What are you doing, honey? Uh, huh? Why? What? Why, honey? Hubby just got nauseous and, and did something out there. Um, I don't know that. I'll tell you what, he worries me today. Not on purpose, but. Uh, this is a Swarovski. Misty, would you sell the chain separately if no one wants it? Yeah, I can do that. Are you okay, sweetie? You're worrying me to death. Um, is 15 okay on the chain? It's 18 inch. So it's a Kylie Dan one, you know. I don't know what kind of pendant you might be wanting to put on it. Okay, you want it though. You got a light pendant to put on it, I hope. Go check on him. Okay, yeah. Well, I know what's going on. He just threw up. I didn't want to have to say it. And, well, he took a shot. He could have done it. He's just washing his little face. Bless his heart. Thank you, Laura. It's just... Honey? Yeah. Can I do something for you? No. Okay. Come here, let me look at you. Come here. What happened? Did you, you eat, didn't you? Yes. Let me see. What do you think calls for? Uh, Were you nauseous? Honey, put you on a cold rag on your head, okay? Or I will wrap some chains, swap some chains around. Oh, the blue gold sun, yes. Oh, that blue gold sun is so beautiful, Laura. I cannot believe I happened to just pull that out when you were here. Because I just started showing my... Sterling, when I came back from my break, I'm glad you like it, darling. But now, let's say this one is a beautiful. Thank y'all. This is a beautiful. Uh, it's got marcasites all in it. Everybody loves you, honey. I think this is um. This is an older one, made in Italy. And it's got the, like this. Thank y'all, honey. He, he really has so many problems, health issues. We just don't want to really talk about him, but he's a sick man, really. <sighs> Been through a lot. It's probably got to do with this high-powered medicine he takes to lower his immune system. So his body won't attack his eyes. Yeah. Um, this is a beautiful bracelet. I'd start that at 40 if you might like. I think it's probably got a lot more worth and value than that. What do you think, probably? I hope we get that. Say my nails are real thin and flimsy. There we go. Um, I'll measure that. 
Everybody likes it. Let's see if I can show you that up close. Okay, honey, thank you. Well, he had never really threw up from that, though. It's a funny thing. You know, it could have just been how he ate. It could have been anything. This is, um, but thank y'all so much, about seven inches. I think that's a gorgeous bracelet. All right. And then this one is the Swarovski. I can't say good job. Swarovski. Swarovski. Don't laugh at me. Well, I don't care if you do. At least you'll be laughing. Laughter's good medicine. This is a beautiful Swarovski necklace. With I mean, bracelet, y'all. Yeah. With beautiful charms. All di I got it backwards. All different color charms. Crystal. And I'll start this at 40. There's a pretty blue. The witch bracelet, sweetie, the last one, and this is so very soft. This this one with the marcasites, I started at 40. Which, yep, now say Paula likes the Swarovski. Miss Lizzie, that's the seven inch. And let me look and see how long this is. Oh, this is a longer one, Paula. This is an eight inch. And um, where's the little swan? Let's see here. I'm trying to find the little swan mark, Paula. This is so very pretty. Well, I cannot find it. And we need to. Just wait till you hold this one in your hands. But I cannot find that swan. I don't know where in the world it is. Okay, well, maybe you can. There's the... Let's just look up close at this blue one I love. There's the green. Oh, I got it backwards. It's fuzzy. But this is just beautiful. Oh, gosh, I love this one. Alrighty. Oh, I just realized something, Polly. You're not going to want it. It's missing a charm. Right here. I just realized that. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't think it was missing a charm. I wonder if it come off in the box. <clears throat> well, honey, I don't know. I just realized that you're going to not want it, probably. 
because it's missing a little charm and I just noticed it right here. That one's a pink. So I figure you don't let me know, sweetie. I hate that, and I just noticed it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Well, this one's missing a little charm. Mm, I don't know what to do about that. I'm going to light that up there. Okay, I'm sorry about that. All right, let's see. Here. This is a... Well, I just want to look at this. It's just like... Oh, no, you never did nothing to say I'm sorry about. This is a set. It's a pendant. Oh, it's a guy to know. He's like, nobody's fault for nothing. We're all just wonderfully fine. And that is, those are pink stones here, whatever they are. And you see the flower? It's large, and then it has the matching earrings. And they look claws and I a little bit. Um, on this set, I'd start to set at 25. Very beautiful. Um, I don't know. I don't say the 1928 mark. It usually, you know, it'd be marked. 1928. Oops. I think I've got it upside down. I mean, I bought every 1928 I've ever had was marked, right? So I don't know. It's not marked at all. Cold down. So, um, I don't know, you guys. It's beautiful. This one doesn't have, yeah, it does have a back. Okay, I thought it did. So, there are the earrings. Paula, you like it at 25? I try not to get mixed up again. The scroll on the back indicates 1928. The scroll. I mean, the 1928 I've had, maybe they have some that's not marked, was marked. So this right here you're saying? Because I've seen other pieces that look like that. You mean it's all 1928 brand? I didn't know that. Hmm. Yeah, I've got lots of other pieces that look like that. That's real. I think what I've shown tonight. Okay, no other interest. We'll call that from three, two, last call. And we're sold to Paula. Thank you, Paula. Huh. Well, I didn't know that, y'all. I think I got a new Cora brooch. This is so beautiful, though. Whether it's 1928 or not, I love 1928 jewelry. I know a lot of people do collect that. Don't they? It's really beautiful.
All right, thank you so much. Oh, I got you, sweetie. Whoops, you falling down, Zoe? Let me get you. Oops. Technical difficulties, y'all. Sorry about that, though. I'll get you back up there. <laughs> All right. So... These are something else. Uh, unmarked. Wow. These are very nice. These, I'll start them at 12 if anybody likes them. I think they're just faux pearl. They reminded me of Christian Dior for a minute. Oh, speaking of. Hey, Miss Lydia. Oh, huh, okay, Denise. Okay. You know, on the necklaces, though, on the pendant, that's the ones I've seen marked. That will start these at 12. Um, Mark 1928. I was getting ready to tell y'all something. I can't remember what it was. Those are open in the back. Yeah, I was getting ready to tell y'all something. I don't remember what it was. All right, y'all, let me put this sterling back over here in the drawer. And we'll keep looking. If y'all won't stay for it a little while longer, we'll keep looking at the um, new vintage I've got here. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for enjoying that. Now I'm going to get the jewelry box. Maybe I'll pull from the jewelry box and not bring the jewelry box over here. Maybe that's what I'll do. How are you, Miss Lydia? I just love this jewelry box there. So, um, Now, this might be a lot of wearables I bought to do different lots and stuff with. I'm not for sure. I believe it may be. So, there might not be a lot of pieces I would bring out to show. Wow, look at those. <laughs> Look at these little play rings. I might send those to my little granddaughter for Christmas. I think she'll like those. I think she will. All right. Okay. So here is, a, I don't know if I've shown that one before, maybe I have. I'll start this at eight. It's a uh, very soft. Pelican? Not sure. Probably about a good three inches. I think that's a pelican. Let's see. Yeah, she'll love them. She will. I don't know if anybody would want this little brooch. Hello, pen. Dollar. Be my does. There is an Avon. I don't know if I've showed that one before. It's a ceramic or something. And that's 12. Be my likes it. Probably about an inch in diameter. Crane. 
<laughs> Excuse me, I'm just wondering where my new little core brooch is. So, uh, we'll start that at six. That's a little Ivar. It's a little twisted, but it's a little teapot pour in the day. I think you wear it like that. Be my legs there. I have one. Starts at six, and this screws off. That's how you put it off. You like that, Paula? I need to get it hand twisted. Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy, y'all. I had fun hanging out with y'all last night and just chit chatting. Oh, that's why it comes off. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Tip me over and pour me out. Something like that, right? All right, I say no other interest. This is going home. Paula. Thank you, Paula. Oh, boy, does my back hurt. I'm going to have to um, spray my body freeze on it, y'all. Spray my body freeze. Instead of the tape, I got these little labels. I kind of like those better than ripping the tape all the time. And sometimes I did this so I can just pack or ship straight from, you know, this. But sometimes I redo it anyways. And if it's sterling, I like to try to put it in the box. Thank you, sweetie. Unfortunately, I am. Oh, Tori, I bet you're just, I'd just pick you up and probably carry you. <laughs> I probably could. I'm six one. Y'all, would you mind if I just threw my heating bag in there and I uh, sprayed my back with some biofreeze real quick? Take me just a second. And I did have this. I haven't shown this in a while. It's by Potpourri Press. $12. You might like it. Uh, give it a wash. $19.92. It says made in Korea. Beautiful, um, McCall cup. And it's signed by somebody, I'm not sure who. I've got to spray some butter for a couple back. And y'all will probably go for about maybe 30 more minutes, or I, I really want to fix my uh, egg sandwich. <laughs> Fried egg sandwich. I might fry up those link sausages so Morgan can have some in the morning. And okay, let's see here. What's that one? I appreciate y'all being here with me. Okay, go ahead. I really do. This is a, I think this is a premier design. $5 if anybody likes. I think it's beautiful. It's a pendant or a brooch. I really like it. It's the gunmetal color. And it's probably a inch and a quarter diameter to it. If anybody likes that. Started at five. Okay, Paula. Yeah, I think it's a premier's design back here. We sure do. We sure do what? Oh, you love being with me? Okay, Tori's at seven. Well, thank you. What an honor. I appreciate that. Okay. 
Oh, that's so sweet. My hands looking old, y'all. Yeah. Wow, it's about yeah, about eight and a half. What type of chain would y'all put that on? It's gunmetal. Paul is out, so we'll count that down to Tori. Thank y'all very much. From three, two, one, and we're sold to Tori. Thank you. Thank you both, darling. That's beautiful on that. Did y'all have a good day at work, those of you who had to go to work? I mean, I work, but worked from home, of course. Shipping today. I think I had about 29 packages total that need to go out. I'll finish those up tomorrow. I did a third and a third and a third. And now I've got the little teapot song stuck in my head. Sorry. <laughs> yes, busy, busy, but good. Yes. Tori at, was it 10? All right. Thank you, sweetie. And I don't know if everybody, oh, just look at this, y'all. And this something, I don't know. I showed this once before a while back. I hadn't looked at it in a while. It's not signed or anything, but isn't that something? This big butterfly necklace. Now, if that ain't something. I don't know if anyone would like it. I think it's beautiful. And it pendants, of course, huge. 18-inch necklace. There's no wear on it or anything. As far as I know, it's just silver tone. Four and a half inch uh, length on it. Uh, this I'd start at 12 if anybody likes it. Look, hang on. I think it's beautiful. There's something in it. Um, yes, sir. This ring, I don't think it's sterling. Have y'all seen this? It's got some wire wrapping. You know, I don't know if that could be sterling. It looks very old, needs to be cleaned. But it's pretty cool, isn't it? I just saw that sitting over there. And I love this one, y'all. This amber glass. 
That is so what? Oh my gosh, 70s? Look at that. And it feels good. It doesn't push my fingers out. Isn't that something, y'all? I don't know if anybody likes that. I'd probably do 13 if somebody does. So big. Beautiful. Amber glass. You like that, Tori? I think it's so cool. Just need to wipe the fingerprints off of it. Very different. The lighting's not showing it real good, but. It's uh, got a little wear on the back, Tori. It's right there on the very back. I'll look and see what size. And I'm not sure what the metal is. It feels like brass. It really does. This is a larger ring. Size 9. Well, eight and three quarters to a nine. Oh, no, no, no. Not silver. No, I'm sorry. Did I say that? It looks brass. It's just a, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what type metal it is. Boy, if that were sterling, that'd be something. But I just thought it was beautiful. No problem, sweetie. No problem. If it fit me a little tighter on this finger, I'll definitely keep that away. I love it. You like big rings, huh? This is a little sterling silver ring. I'll start at 20 if anybody likes it. It is a size 8. Mark. I think it's 925, but it seems like it had a signature. I don't know. Size 8, if anybody likes this one. This is a real soft one to wear, day. Let's see. This is a real pretty Sarah Coventry brooch. It's pretty large. That's green. And I don't know if a stone has been replaced right here because you see how it stands out. It's marked down here. So we snore it. As far as I know, y'all, well, I know I'll be back Saturday, good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise, but whether I come on before or not, I don't know. I'm trying to find that one that looks replaced. But that is a green. If anybody likes it. Um, I started at 8 because of this. It's, it's there. But it looks like it has been replaced. I don't know for sure. but 
Um, did y'all want to stay on for anybody here? Do y'all want to stay on a little longer? Uh, if so, I'll take one more potty break and we'll stay another maybe 45 minutes. But if not, if nobody's interested to stay, I'll. Okay, you like that, Paula? We'll let Hubby go ahead and finish calling it down here and I'll take a little break and we'll stay on just a little longer. Did you see about the one stone that I feel like somebody's replaced? You see it right there? So, I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, I'll take a little break. Let me know if you'd still like it. It just stands out to me a little bit, and it looks like somebody's replaced it. Well, goes fuzzy. And this is a green. Oh, okay. All right, sweetie. Well, we're going to go ahead and call this... From three, yeah, two, one, ring a dinger, ring a dinger, ding a ding 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 ding. Thanks, darling. And we did it at eight. Okay, okay, Tori, you be right back. Put that in here, and then when you go to bed or whatever, you want to take. Take Zoe with you when you go to the sun. So she can go pee pee and get her some water. Well, you gotta look at her face. She's so sleepy. She is. Yeah, she's sitting there sleeping, but I keep when I move. So it's really being selfish holding her. Even though it's so calming and relaxing. And she's so soft because she had a bath. You're welcome, darling. We'll look at this next. Um, it looks like it has a little wear on it to me, but maybe it could be polished. I don't know if that's a silver or not. Oops. I jerked my phone. Yeah. Just talk about a five minute break. Lay right here, darling. I'm, I'm going to be right back. Oh. Yes, a fresh. Well, yeah, she looks like a puppy, but she's 11. But yeah, I'll probably be right back, y'all. We'll go just a little longer. Hello again, all the party peoples in the house. Happy Wednesday evening to you. Uh, let's see here. Well, a clean puppy, if maybe not a uh, puppy. <laughs> So, what's good, everybody? Anything new and exciting in the last couple hours? I thought the she probably got put on the night you ate. Well, she took a break uh, last time. Uh, I don't know if you saw that, but she took a little break. So, let's see here. I'm I'm okay. Uh, uh, not sure exactly what happened, but got quite a bit nauseous there about 30 45 minutes ago but i appreciate everybody asking that's very very kind i'm i'm getting by i think uh it's my shot uh i take i take so much medicine my desk drawer it looks like an apothecary it i think it could be a uh i think it could be like a shelf in a pharmacy just because of all the different types of medicines i take uh got some stuff that like lowers immune system and then just different things, so, you know. I appreciate it, Denise. I'm not sick. I, it just happens every uh, week whenever I take my shot. Uh, it just runs me down, makes me tired. It feels like uh, a mini flu for a couple of days. You know how you just feel weak and just blah, and you just want to, like, sleep. and uh, So that's all it is. But that's very kind of you. Yeah. It's okay, Paul. It's okay. It's just a reality, and we have to deal with the reality. Um, Tom Petty said it best. Uh, take it as it comes. Hopefully, it won't stay long. <laughs> but no, we just we just deal with life as it comes. You know, we might uh, uh, we can make our plans, but very I don't know. Plans come through about half the time. Depends on how good the plan is, and I. Uh, I'm a black and white type of person, cut and dry. Misty is that gray area 
things and uh, I make plans and then little things will come and disrupt them sometimes. So, uh, and then whenever it disrupts it, I'm like, grr, and Misty, she just kind of goes with the flow. So, you know. So, Denise, I appreciate you helping out, Misty. That was so sweet of you. I appreciate that. Um, let's see here. Oh, Denise, who do you guys play this week? We had our butts handed to us by the Giants, who had like half of their skill positions out. Uh, like their defense was no good, and we managed three measly points. Yeah, that's very sweet of you to help, Misty, though. It really is. I know that she appreciates it. Don't know. Did I? Who'd you guys play uh, last weekend? Well, uh, was it the Jets? For some reason, it feels like it was the Jets, and I think you guys won like 17 13, maybe. Or may, that, that might have been the Saints and Seahawks score. I don't know. I do not know. But it is what it is. So just kind of a chill Wednesday evening. And there is a chill in the air. Woke up this morning. It was 41 degrees, I think. And it's, uh, I think the temperature said like 56, 57 a few minutes ago whenever I was outside. So what's on people's minds? Let's talk about y'all. What's a good topic of conversation? Forty there in the ATL. Paul, are you, uh, uh, are you pulling for the Braves? I'm hoping. And uh, my great aunt, she lives down in Macon. Uh, she said it was uh, chilly there today, whatever, I, or yesterday, whenever I talked to her. But yeah, forty in Atlanta—that's that's rare. Awesome, awesome. Uh, I can't wait for them. Right now, they're losing to the Astros in Game Two. Last I heard, it was like six to two uh, going into the seventh inning. Um, we played really well last night. Uh, I'm, I've been a Braves fan since 1982, whenever the only good players on the team were Dale Murphy and Glenn Hubbard. Um, but I can't wait to, uh, for it to get back to Atlanta. This is the first time we've been in the World Series since 1999. 23, 22 years. You know, I'm just looking at this table here. Uh, get a north northwest. Ooh, uh, you can keep the rain. That that probably hurt my joints uh, since it's cold. But I enjoy the cooler weather. As a larger person, uh, I can always put on more clothes to stay warm. But in the summertime, it's miserable, and there's only so much I can take off and still be decent. Uh, it's oof. I'd rather have the cool than the hot. Although the warm feels good on my uh, arthritis, the cool feels good for the rest of me. Oh, you got a nor'easter going on. I uh, let's see here. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to think of how to say nor'easter in a Boston accent. Uh, let's see here in a Boston accent. A nor'easter. Is that about right? A nor'easter. Uh, being wicked cold, nor'easter. Is that about right? The hotter, the better. See, that's the way my uh, that's the way my aunt is. Uh, of course, she's oh shoot, she's eighty five now, but uh, she's five three and like a hundred and five pounds. Uh, she loved the beach, loved to go to the hotter places. She would go down to, she would vacation a lot uh, down in uh, Panama City Beach there on the uh, Panhandle in Florida. And 
whenever it was, she, I think that uh, she finally said it was miserable whenever it got over, I want to say 102, 105, something like that. She's always liked the hot weather. You forgot what the sun looks like. Well, being an, uh, being of Irish descent and all the medicine I take, I can't really be in the sun too long. But I like the sun cross out I burn. I mean, you know, with the red hair and the so white, I'm pink complexion, you know. And, yeah, you got the noista going on, the noista. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you need to have some wicked chowder to warm you up. Uh, warm you up against that nor'easter. Uh, I can uh, I, I I can appreciate that, Paul. I can. Um, but Misty was so sweet. She made me uh, one of those rice packs for my joints that she keeps talking about heating up in the microwave three or four minutes. Uh, sometimes the joints in my hands or my shoulder uh, or knees or just really any joints. Uh, <laughs> Uh, heat it up and put it on joints. It feels so nice. It feels so lovely. It feels about like that white diamonds that, that we gave away earlier. Uh, burn easily, yeah. Uh, sun's not my friend either. I, I appreciate it for what it is, what it does. And whenever I have a little bit of a chance to uh, be in it for a little bit to warm me up like through and through then i'm good but oof so it sounds like my lovely wifey has returned yeah i was just gonna put the sausage lights on real quick okay all right so uh, about now see amy i'm with you if we uh, if i could find a place that's like six uh 55 to 70 year round uh and have just enough shade from the sun whenever it hits that 70 mark and a light breeze and it rain oh once a week for a couple hours yeah i'll be about that the irish in my blood uh, they more gonna come give me hugs since you're typing her Mark's picking her up. Uh, well, uh, you haven't seen the picture yet, but she got a job. She got a job. She uh, she trains uh, Saturday at two. Oh my gosh, y'all! Morgan's first job. <laughs> oh, she gonna be working on Saturdays. Yeah, I believe so. I believe so. But, uh, we're talking about Morgan getting her first job. I didn't know she did. She's going to be working on Saturdays. Yeah. You hadn't uh, had a chance to see the uh, texts no, and pictures she sent. Yes. Uh, She's growing up right in front of her eyes. Even whenever you was in Greece? Oh, wow. I, I bet Greece was nifty. Uh, and I tell, I tell her that everybody say congratulations. Uh, I bet Greece was lovely. I bet Greece was lovely. Now, I'm just curious. Was it bacon grease, ham grease, turkey grease to make some good gravy? Ha, 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 ha. Bad jokes abound. Bad jokes abound. But no, uh, did you get a chance to see like the Parthenon and the uh, and the Colosseum whenever you was in Greece? Get to go to like Mount Olympus? See Athens and Sparta. This is Sparta. They could have done that movie a little bit better, even though it was even though it was pretty good. Dowie, you're so tough. You're so tough, Dowie, and you look so tired. Uh, many, many times. Ah. Uh, Oh, island hopping. I hear you. So did you go to, uh, let's see here, Corsica is off France. Lesbos is off of Greece. Uh, where, uh, what, uh, which islands did you get a chance to go to? 
I told her y'all said congrats. Guess what, Mark? What? I said, so you're going to be training Saturday? She's like, yeah. I said, oh, wow. I said, you get paid for that? She said, you do? Yeah. I said, oh. Yes. She didn't know you got paid for your training. Oh, that's Thank sweet. That's sweet. All right. Everybody, have a good evening. Uh, re Abby, remember, sugar. remember, Saturday we're going to do some Star Wars merch. <sighs> Come give me sugar, Abs. Good night, darling. I love you. This is my Abby Dabby. Her name's Abigail Feathertail. She's a rescue. I can't see her, but oh, she's soft as a feather. I love you. You can sit with me on the glider in the morning on the porch, okay? I love you. She's on steroids right now. So she makes her sleepy and makes her needs to pee a lot. But yeah, Morgan got her first job. Mark, my Mark, Mark Bishop's her stepdad since she's like three. He's taking her to school in the morning and her daddy's picking her up and they're going to the gym. So I won't see her. I had to go up there and give her a hug. And oh, she's growing up. Look at this old brooch. It's like a ceramic. I think it is gorgeous. I'll do five start on it if anybody likes it. I told her y'all said congrats. Boy, when they get their license, it's just, you know, I've went through two boys. This is my last child and um, my only girl. So it's different, you know, with a girl. If anybody likes this one, start that five. Oh, yeah, this. This is old. I don't think it's sterling. And it's got some wear on it. But if anybody likes it, I really don't like it sterling. It sure don't scratch like it. You get her to go bed, Abby, da Abby Dabby? We, we do. I don't know why we do that. But, like, Abby. Ramen, you know, we do Abby Dabby and Zoe. We do Zoe Bowie. So, no, it's not Sterling. So, I would do five dollars on it if anybody would like it. And it, <clears throat> if it was polished, it'd look better, but it's got just a little wear here on the corners right there. But it's a very long chain, and the chain's pretty nice. If anybody would like it. Um, you should always have another one. You are talking about something there. But I don't know. Um, yeah, this is some, this stuff I've got to go through. This is stuff I've got to go through. That's a little set. I don't know if anybody like. It's just a silver tone. It's got earrings with it. Um, I'd start that at eight if somebody liked it. It's a little horseshoe. Their post. Put the earrings around it. And that little necklace, if you like it, it's red. Probably it looks like about a maybe 18 inch. Those are the earrings. They're just hooked on there. If anybody likes that. <coughs> Excuse me. These right here. I've got. I'll have to split my. Uh, Morgan wants a pancake from the morning too. These are very different. I don't know what they're made out of y'all. Here's the box. And look at the front. How pretty. They're um, got a, some type of finish on the front. $3, if anybody likes these. They're clip-ons. About a, probably three-quarter of an inch. And these look like copper to me. Wow, they're old. What are these? These are by... R-E, you ever heard of this? 
R E N O I R. R E N O I R. And they need a claim. Right there is where it says R E N. So they need a claim. But don't they look copper? I don't know if this brand has a lot of value. They need to be cleaned or not. But I'd start them. I'd start these at seven. I think they're pretty cool. Let's make sure. Yeah. R E N O I R. Do y'all know that brand? Those are nice. And they look like climbers too. But those are different, aren't they? I love these. Those are really cool. If nobody likes those, I really do. And I might keep them. These are a vintage earring here. And I'd start these at four if somebody likes them. Very nice. Somebody looks the looks of them. Good night, Lydia. Sweet dreams. Thank you for coming in. Um, I'll put these with them, two for four, if you might like, because kind of of the same style. Well, they're a little bit darker, aren't they? And then I'm going to do what looks like a little cloisonne bundle. So this pair, and they have a little weight to them, so just know. And this pair, two for four, if anybody likes these. I'm going to have to flip my link sausages. I just love link sausages. So <clears throat> these, these are beautiful. I can do like two for one price. Aren't they pretty? So you got those. And we'll put these with them. Six dollars if anybody would like those two pair for both. Very nice. I think they go this way. Well, there's Celine. Okay, you're in at six. So that pair and that pair. Whoops. <clears throat> okay. And I've got some more coming that look like that. The claws, claws and I. All right, I don't see any other interest. So we'll go ahead and call these to Celine at six. Thank you, darling. I think I've got to flip my sausages, y'all. Give me just one little second, and then I've got some more that look like that. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll show you some more. It looks like that. Let me just flip my sausages. Breakfast in the morning. So I'm looking for my spatula.
turn them down just a little bit. Okay, let's see. We'll do another two for the price of one. Now, these are beautiful. I love these. I like the red inlay there. So there's one pair. Post. And we'll do this little pair with them. Some little butterflies. Oh. Two for six, if anybody likes those ones. Okay, so Lynn likes them. Any other interest? Let me find the mates. Hold on, say Lynn, because hold on. This looks like it's missing a stone. Let me look. I think it is. We might have to change them and replace them. Let's look at them. Yeah, I see it's missing the red stone, sweetie. So I got to take these ones out. So it'll have the butterflies. Let's see if I can find another pair that you would like. Um, let's see. We have the, so if you wanna if you want to retract, you can. But I'm trying to find two little pairs that are similar to that. I don't know if you'll like these. They're green. They're look, they look enameled. They're little bitty hoops that come right around your ear. Um, I could put those with them two for six, or would you like to just do three for these little butterflies? Just let me know. Or did you like the little green hoops too? I'll be doing both of these for six or just three if you like the butterflies. I'm sorry about the other ones. I have to put those in crab. What would you like to do, sweetie? I'll take, oh, okay, oh, gosh, let me get them. I just kind of tossed them out of here. I got very, come here, just, all right, I don't know, I might not be able to. I thought, well, there goes one of them. I tossed them out of here in my crap box. Let's see if I can find the other. So you can fix jewelry. Where did the other one go? So we I can't find them, sweetie. Um, speaking of, let me just show this. I hadn't it's getting over way too much. Um, let me, uh, show y'all this, if there's any interest. I haven't shown it in a long time, and it's getting too much here. But I got a lot of nice stuff in here. Honey, I, I, we're going to have to scratch that one, because I, I have, um, Lost them, but I want to show you something. If anybody's interested, oh my gosh, uh, in craft, okay, thank you, Celia. Now, there is wearable, some wearable in here, but some of this 
is got a little more wear than I maybe somebody would wear, but that I would want to sell. You know what I mean? So um, I'll show you if there's any interest in this craft bundle I've got. I don't know. And some of the things are beautiful. They're just need to be fixed. It just let me think of it when you can fix jewelry. Um, I have this here. If anybody likes it. And in there is really nice stuff. Like this is a real pretty Betsy Johnson. Um, very cool pin. Nut. And here's the necklace. And it just. Need some the little uh, pliers that can open that up and hook it back to the pin that I couldn't do it. But that's a very nice Betsy Johnson. But there's real nice stuff in here. Uh, there's some stone in here. There's all kinds of old stuff. Look. Uh, I've also, like, why is that in there? Look at this belt buckle. I should take that out. This is nice. Hey, Lindsay Ann. Look at that belt buckle. Um, let me see if this is the craft. Yeah. I want to show you some of the beautiful things in here. Let me see if this is craft. You want, okay, let me think what I have to charge. This is a very heavy bag of it. Let me make sure this is crap. I think it is. But I have a huge box full. Um, any stone for it? Um, so there's lots of stuff in here that's wearable. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is my crap. Oh, yeah, this is craft. Look how beautiful. It's missing one little pearl on that. Is that not gorgeous? I think it's a choker. Um, let me just pour this out and show y'all. And let me weigh it real quick, okay? I'll put the Betsy Johnson in that craft bag because that's a nice... There's the little Betsy Johnson. I'll put this in a little bag. So it'll stay together. But I want to find a little something here. And show. Yeah, that belt buckle's awesome in there. I don't know why it was in there. But I've got some very nice stuff in there. Let me see if I can find something forward in here and show y'all. Okay, I'm poured on this. And this might be the last thing that I do here. I've got my pancakes, <laughs> and it's just time. Yeah, I've got this I can pour it into, and we can look at it. Oh, I want my little birdie. Come here, little birdie. I haven't come crafted in a long time, and I have, I'll just show you all this bag. I have a huge box full. But I am telling you, there's wearables in the craft. There's some stuff that has light wear. It'd really be a treasure hunt. And then there's lots of nice vintage jewelry in here. Um, I'll just pour it out so you can see a little of it. Put it like that. There's some beautiful stuff in here. Look at that little belt buckle. What's that doing in there? Ain't that super cute? But I've got that in there. Oh, yeah, I've been craving pancake. See, that just really just needs a white. That's a nice old brooch in there. But there's some beautiful things in here. Why is that in there? I don't know what else in there, y'all. So there's some very nice things in there. 
I probably have to start this whole thing. I don't know if it's too much at 30. There's a beautiful Monet earring. But I would sell it as craft starting at 30. There is, I weigh this, it's probably five pounds plus. I don't see anything wrong with that uh, brooch. Okay, Sue, so and you're interested. This would just be a treasure hunt, I think, really, Sue, and there's some beautiful, and if you can fix jewelry, this is going to be really nice. Look at that beautiful bracelet. I don't know why I've got it in there. Look at that. Look at that beautiful necklace with that beautiful chain. But yeah, I'm selling it as craft. That way you know the most of it. I can't get over that. I think that's gorgeous. That is vintage. Oh, it was missing the style, wasn't it? So there's just a lot in there. There's some stuff. Oh, look at that. There's the other Monet earring, I think. That's some beautiful stone there. I don't know what's wrong with it. So there's lots in here. This is just a watch, an old watch, and I hadn't had time to check it, check into it. There's another old watch. So I think you'd find some good stuff in here too. Do you want me to weigh it, Celine, or are you okay? That's nothing wrong with that bracelet. Oh, look at that piece. You could do something with this. This was on a necklace. There's a lot of old stuff in here. But uh, I think 30 is good, good, good for the other side. I left a little Betsy Johnson in the bag with a necklace. So if you could fix that, that'd be great. And that is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, y'all. That is nothing wrong with it. There's some dichroic glass. All right. Be careful, though. Is it okay if I just put this in a... Um, what is that? Is it okay if I just put this all together since it's craft just like this? Um, so, Leon, let me know if it is. Yes, it's okay. All right, that's what I'll do. But I guarantee you this is probably five to six pounds. Look at that old Christmas necklace. It's a Christmas tree. All right, so that's what I'll do. I'm going to put a thing on here, silly and 30. Unless there was any other interest and I didn't see any. Y'all, let me turn my sausages off real quick. Okay. Oh, piece of paper.
And I'll just bag all that up together then, sweetie, okay? And I will... I didn't say any other interest. Okay, we'll ring the bell. And I'm going to leave that like that until the morning. And I'll package it all up. Okay, this will be for, this is for next week. Anyway. Well, that, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All right, sweetie. Congrats. I'm glad you like that. I think you'll find some wonderful things in there. Look at that old earring. So, you see how big it is? All that. I think it probably weighs five or six pounds or something. Maybe more. Maybe seven. It's so heavy, so then. All right. I'm going to lay that right down here. I'm going to put that all together for you. Oh. Okay. Whoops. Sorry about all that jerking. Ugh. Thank you, darling. That'll be fun. Well, there is that belt buckle if anybody liked it. I'll start at 15. Let's see. Who's it signed by? CII New York. It's heavy. It looks like that might be brass. I took that out of there. So, yeah. so if anybody likes it. And did anybody... This was too pretty to stay. I thought this is a beautiful Monet piece. It's at 20 if any interest. It's a very long chain to it. Oh, it's got the mono right there. Very, very beautiful. And a very nice thick chain to it. 30 inches on that mono. Lindsay Ann, the stone jewelry. I didn't show a lot of stone jewelry tonight. Well, I did. Laura got a beautiful sterling silver blue gold stone pin. That I had these two bracelets. This is beautiful amethyst. And I had this one with turquoise and uh, lots of other stone. I'm not even sure what I was in here. Uh, it's a stretch. 15 choice. This has a little stretch, not a lot. And it's got very beautiful color amethyst in it. I'm not 100%, but I feel like these are also amethyst, huge, polished, faceted. Right here. I believe those are also amethyst. So that's pretty much the only stone I have to show for tonight. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever shed this one. What is this? I don't know. That's beautiful though. I don't know if that's a sterling or not. If anybody likes it and would like me to test it, I would real quick for you. Very soft. I don't think it is. 
No, no way. I feel something right there. Must just be a little costume, but ain't it pretty? This is a pretty um, sterling and say it here. It's like a wedding man say it, sterling. It's really pretty. Say it. Very soft. Oh wow, that fits my. I didn't know that fit me. Well, let me get it this way. And that's so pretty. Oh, I like that. I think I'm gonna keep this y'all. I don't know. I'm just. Uh... <laughs> I am just on my own little world right now, y'all. I'm sorry. I forgot about you for a second. This is a little, one of the little, I think you could put the little, um, what do you call it? The little ball with the oils on it. If anybody likes that, do that at eight. It's just a silver tone. Actually, I'd drop this down to five because it's got just a little bit of darker right here. So, Lynn, you want this, honey? You say it's just a little darker here. So, I'll do five on it for that reason. Good night, Paula. Sweet dreams to you, darling. I really hope you can get some sleep tonight. Okay, yeah, this to you at five then. Hi, Maria. How are you, sweetie? <clears throat> We're just getting ready to close up. It's eleven thirty, y'all. I can't. When my husband said, "Can y'all believe it's hump day?" or "Are you glad it's Wednesday hump day?" I couldn't even believe it was. This week has really flown by. But Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesdays are my busiest days. Because of sh invoicing and shipping. I'm usually shipping for two or three days. Three, pretty much. So the last of shipments will go out tomorrow. Okay, sweetie, I got you. Good night. Love y'all. And I hope y'all sleep good. Whoops, my light went out. It kind of came unplugged. And thank you, Denise, for helping me in the chat, sweetie. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, what's 1035 for? We're already all finished up, sweetheart. And I might pop up one night this week, but for sure I'll be here on Saturday. So I hope y'all come see me. Um, the way, if in case anybody needs to know, the way I do it is if, um, if it comes back to Saturday and that week's invoices aren't taken care of, then you can't be it on Saturday. That's the way I have to do it. Um, all invoices should be taken care of by tomorrow. Hi, Michelle. The little lava ball goes, yes, 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 yes. That's right. Isn't that a beautiful play, y'all? I love that. Not marked anything. I have so many little trinket dishes. I use it as a trinket dish to put jewelry in and stuff. 
You too, Maria. Um, I appreciate y'all swinging by. Yeah, we're, we're just finishing up. Look at that bracelet. Isn't that something, y'all? I love that. It's like big butterfly wings, don't it? And that is just, I think, acrylic. Yeah. Good night, Michelle. I think it's so cool. Y'all come back and see me, okay? And y'all take care. I hope the rest of your week goes good. And I will see y'all soon. Yes. Good night, sweetheart. It's time to go. <laughs> I always hate leaving y'all, but I guess I must go. Okay, see you Saturday. Yes. Sweet dreams, y'all. Love ya. Bye-bye.